Hello. <laughs> Hi, Becca. How are you? Good to have you here. We we're recording this. Is that Hi. okay? Is that okay? We're recording That's this. Total, that, absolutely. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Fine. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, Perfect. I I will be logging back in officially i was just in a meeting so i just didn't i just want to say hi really quick i have like a couple minutes and then i'll be on fully so okay. i appreciate being invited here we're just kind of going around and, and uh, introducing ourselves so if whoever wants to start that's that's fine well i'm deborah <laughs> i'm deborah you? i'm in the group deborah winter harold winter And I'm still pretty new to KS, but I've learned a lot from Randy. And uh, I'm glad to be here. It's nice to meet you. Well, don't don't all jump in at once. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll go on. ahead and jump in. My name's Becca. I'm really honored to be here. I actually. Uh, found the KS teachings years ago. I've never actually participated in any groups. This is all something I've done personally on my own. It's information that feels very familiar to me from lifetimes ago. So I just immediately resonated with it and have been sharing it. And um, the video yesterday, I just, I never got the opportunity to meet Michael, but uh, it just really emotionally hit me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and there was just so much truth and honesty, especially with the very last part of what he was sharing with his writings. And I just uh, wanted to reach out and connect. So thank you for inviting me here. Thank you for being here. Showing up is a huge thing. Hi, I'm Monica from Germany. And, um, I get in connection with uh, Kilontic science with Sophia and after on YouTube uh, with Keith and it resonated very much with me and as well with my childhood and um, so I'm here and yes uh, and I think we need so much more of that uh, as well in German language in Germany it's needed <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's we got uh, translation devices and everything now. I mean, it's really not that hard for me to take what's in text and be able to move it into translate it into German, and then you can Monica, and then you can take a look at it and see whether or not it's the proper translation or not, you know. But uh, I think it could help if if we can use your videos, yes, and yeah, and I could just put set them it to, in translation, so it yeah. would help a lot. Yeah, um, that would be. Great if that could be used. Um, absolutely, you know. Okay, but we we need the allowness so we can use it on YouTube, and uh, put German subtitle or German voice underlined, and uh, we can repost that, and it would help us a lot in Germany. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, that's what this is all about, you know, being able to do what we're doing here, this uh, technology that we have. Otherwise, we couldn't do it, right? And so take advantage and use what's available. Definitely. Um, so Becca dropped off. I'm not quite sure. Um, no, she's still here. She's just muted. Um, I'm, I'm, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. This is Bevan. Oh, and Bevan. thank you. Thank you for showing up. I really appreciate you having you here. Well, and I'm challenged with, with Skype because I can't see anybody else and I don't normally use it. So I apologize. <laughs> well, and that's, that's quite all right. Um, if you, it seems your, your video is engaged and I can hear you. So, um, you just get in front of the camera if you can, or wh whatever you want to, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, that's the whole thing about this is just what everybody's comfortable with. So yeah. I, I'm just saying it. Yeah, we can hear you, and if if you if you can hear me, um, and you can hear other everybody else, I guess that's okay, right? Yeah. 
I just don't know what you're seeing. And quite honestly, my battery has dropped from 14 to 7 on my phone. So for some reason, I'm not, um, I guess I won't be able to stay on it because. Is there any way, is there any way that you can plug it in? Well, I have it plugged in. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, so, wow. That's, that's, yeah. that's strange. <laughs> so oh. I'd love to get the recording later and I love you all and bye. <laughs> Oh, bye, Bevan. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Thanks for showing up. That's so important. Yeah, I wish I could stay. Now I'm at three oh. percent. Bye. Well, if you if you can come back on later, because we'll we'll be we might be here for a while. So there it is. <laughs> she dropped out. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. One question. She, she's she's she, she's she's a wonderful gal. Wonderful gal. Anyhow, so anyhow, go ahead. I'm sorry. I have one question, Keith. Uh, the Voyages One and Two book, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. it's written by Ash. What do you think about uh, uh, in relation to the Kilonic science? Um, would would you recommend it's it's the truth, it's the basics, or um, it's well, difficult my, to say? <laughs> my conviction has been for quite a long time is that. If you feel a connection to something, then pursue it enough to validate it for yourself. And if it doesn't, it's not, if you can't validate it, drop it like a hot potato. Just put it out of the way. Um, because it's, there's too much emphasis about following things. I have my... I I have my two cents about the whole idea of coming into manifestation. You know, you're in and out. And you, no, nothing separates you from the true identity of who you are. We're just talking about, because if you look at Keolantic science, the emphasis, probably 85% of it, is focusing on the hologram yes. on, within manifestation. And as you know, manifestation isn't really a thing. It's an illusion <laughs> because of who and what you are outside of this you or your transcendent of the creation itself and the hologram is used as a tool in order to expand the creation through the being that you are yeah. you put yourself in situations or um bottom line for me is that you're bringing in the love that you are uh that in bringing in a very a sliver of that and looking to manifest it or bring it in within the manifestation in order to um, bring it where it doesn't seem to be you know where love seems to be absent there's a greater sense of expansion and glory with that and that's really the purpose the way i perceive it in respect to the um, the hologram is to expand oneself therefore expanding the creation through the being that you are so this huge frequency drop that takes place is very terrifying you know especially when you do it for the first time but you know within the hologram you see within ks all these tools and understanding how you know the mechanics works of it and so on and so forth uh which is great but be it that you're transcendent i wouldn't worry about it too much follow the love being that you are more than anything else you know yeah. So far as with uh, the Voyager's books, um, you know, there's things that I connect with and I know because of what I have had already known, which I came to know through myself and in most cases independently of anything else. But at the same time, it, it, you know, I go back, I go full circle back to, okay, who and what I am. And who and why, what I am is not this identity. It's a fractal of within the manifestation in order to expand oneself so no worries <laughs> that's what i'm the way i look at it if it connects with you fine if it doesn't fine no big deal yes know? it did it, it a, a lot of things uh yeah, but better agree both uh, uh, really a lot of things immediately but but all that knowing now about ash affects it and uh, a little yeah. bit and um yes you have to <laughs> yeah that's the, that's the reason for doing this for you yeah. so everybody can talk about it you know it's important to discuss that how it makes you feel 
you know, and move things out of the way so you can move forward. Yes. Um, uh, we should never really look at anybody uh, in leadership as someone to follow, you know. Um, Be the same, yes. Yeah, follow yourself. You don't need to follow anything other than yourself because you're connected to everything. Um, I remember George Kosovoslis saying, you know, the reason why we come into this is in order to be able to become everything in order to be able to to create another verse right and he was right but it's important to understand you're already all those things yes. <laughs> it, it's through love that which you expand the creation itself because it's about perpetuating creation as a whole so you're working through source consciousness as a source and you're working through co-creative uh inner uh action collectively right so it's a, you're doing two things at the same time it just when we're in this manifestation it seems like we're not it's like oh, everything you feel separate but you know that's it's important for that to be in order for in order to expand it has to be a real experience so yes indeed and we have to remember so we need to remember um yeah, re remembering remembering goes beyond the idea of pictures or I remember being at a certain place. It's the it, it, it's the eternal reality within your within your the essence of your being, right? I remember yes. when I, when I was bedridden in 1993, that's where I went. You know, and, and things came back to me and then it was things I can't even talk about cuz you know, the tongue here <laughs> telepathically yeah. perhaps, you know, sending symbols and images, you know, but but outside of that, no, no. I know, but we we need or, or I need uh, um, uh, experiences to to reconnect to to remembering uh, what is inside. So it helped me a lot, and uh, especially um, especially the Kilontic science and as well the the Voyager books so I have a lot of remembering uh, um, in that but I felt when I watched the videos with her something doesn't match so um, yes right. uh, but it has nothing to do <laughs> for me with the mess with the mess with the message so um right. and but i was very very surprised when i heard what what has happened yes with michael and as well and so yeah. i was shocked um, that was so, that was <laughs> now that was, i have to yeah. <laughs> it was hurtful yeah it really was it was you know i mentioned to deborah and i'll go ahead and just <laughs> be forward about this i considered it to be shameful and wicked what she did to him and what she said about them, not just him, but others, and this kicked him to the curb. And I, all I can figure is like somebody else took over residence. If you know what I mean by that. Mm -hmm. um, that's a subject matter that I was touched on for the first time we tried to do this podcast, which uh, I ended up talking too much. <laughs> but be it that I've, I've been involved with well, I was in Christianity for 27 years and 15 years of that in and out. I was in ministry and some of that was hardcore ministry dealing with spiritual warfare, demonic possession. And I know enough about when you go into areas such as geographical areas that have had a stronghold for thousands of years. You have what is referred to as principalities, strong strongholds. And if you go in there and you're you're open, you're not protecting yourself and hadn't practiced. Holding frequencies is not enough. <laughs> you know, no. Right. So you're going to be susceptible to that. And I know for a fact that a being stronger than you can come along, kick you out of your body and take it over. And when they do that, they take on all your cellular memory. So what you're seeing is if you don't know or you're not you don't know what you're looking at and people who are sensitive spiritually can feel it see it you know that's not the same person hmm. somebody else has taken up residency hmm. and based on the things that happened it just 
It reminds me of when I was involved with a particular demon possession situation, exorcism, and um, the being looked at me and it threw through the person and smirked at me. Hmm. And it came with a strong energy. And that's the same energy I felt when she, when I heard what Michael her said when he read what he read. I have the clip, but if you would like, I can send it to you guys privately. It's just a little snippet out of that so that you can, if you want to reference it or something. But, uh, you know, I, it's important not, <laughs> it's important not to look at the messenger, you know, Monica was referring to. It's important not to look at that, but at the same time, there's a responsibility and accountability that we have, especially for those in position of leadership, because it affects so many others. And when this happened, it was just like for some, it was just like their whole, it's like the planet was going to be destroyed. They were just totally freaked out because they were just following somebody. And it gets to a point where it's all like, almost like worshiping. In some cases, I would say that's exactly what's going on. It's like, okay, follow the, look at the, look at the material, but don't look, you know, it's hard not to look at the person. I, that's again, person has an accountability and there's a responsibility that they have. And when I was in, when I was in ministry, I was content. I mean, I, I didn't want to do the, the spiritual warfare thing because that'll just beat the crap out of you. And I still carry scars from that. But the point is, is that when you're doing it, like especially when I did music and do it, it's very fulfilling to be able to be of service. There's a joy and there's a love there that just, it keeps you content, you know? So when people start becoming incontent, it's because everything apparently is just too easy for them, you know, or something. I don't know. I know she had a lot of issues as far as with the Zetas and everything and who hasn't, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, we are in this soup here, so. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I can recall a lot of things Deborah has had experiences with that and it just, you know, and, I'm, and some things that people can remember, some people that, you know, things that you can't, but regardless, you know, I mean, that's, there's a whole lot of stuff going on here, you know, we're working with handicap, you know, but it's through the love nature of who we are is we were, we're able to transcend. I, that's my catalyst for everything. I, I try agree. to make every try to make it all simple, you know. It's like okay, bottom line, none of all this stuff because it just makes you loopy. <laughs> if you just if things are not working out for you the way you want it to, or whatever, it's like you know. So, yeah. I can feel everything that you're saying, and I kind of have, if you will, a little bit of an outsider's perspective because absolutely. Um, I was guided to the material so i've never known anyone in the group i've never met her i never met michael in person um and there was a distinct feel because there's multiple years of work that is presentable so there's the voyagers material and then of course i have uh, a few of the others available to myself and you can feel the distinct moment knowing no one and knowing nothing but you can feel the distinct moment when it's my guidance told me do not go beyond this point do not don't even look at this material this isn't it that it is um really amazing because i have seen some of her videos and it was always the impression that she was a human in this incarnation you know regardless of all her other incarnations and everything but that there was her own stuff processing this information through her and so it was always very clear kind of like exactly what you're saying it's not about the messenger that this information needed to come through so there's a tremendous amount of gratitude i have for the amount of effort it took that i know it took the hours and time and dedication it took to bring it forth so there's so much honor i have for that and also just to have in my heart there was such a energy that i felt listening to michael's testimony of just going like oh my god it's like this timeline repeated itself again you know it's just like ah you know but it's like here we are you know that those of us that are here holding it 
that I feel this resonance with you guys that you resonate with the strands within it that are truth. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the message and whatever the workshops were and whatever the people were was what it was, but that how now can we take that spark and still keep it going, you know, in a very organic way. And so that's why I'm really honored to connect with you guys because mm. there's power in there. <laughs> Appreciate your insight. Oh, and I, yes. I agree. I agree with what you're saying. It's just yeah. straight up. Yeah. Too. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> for if personally for me, back in 1993 it was my first bedridden i went through a lot of things reliving pre-life experiences traumas one one situation as an example how I almost died then <laughs> because of the trauma i was reliving was this the planet blew up that it was on it was in this solar system and so i was there and it was extremely terrifying and i carried that you know and so you have mm -hmm. you have the refraction of consciousness here within the hologram then you have a refraction of the refraction of the consciousness here on this planet to the planetary grids and then you have the because of the, the the congestion of energy flow you have what is known as distortions or shadow body and you see it prominent here within the emotional and mental dis, disarray here you know distress disease that exists here on such a high level in regard to that it's evidence in itself and then you have these all these implants within the holographic template so it's a challenge without a question um and so i hear it's interesting because certain people they avoid the idea of that i've known okay that have gone out of their body for years and they have communication they go you know within these so-called higher levels and they're in the, within their communication to these other beings of how to change things here and all this other stuff. And so a lot of stuff, what they say, I'm going, okay, that's, yeah, oh, yeah, all right. You know, I understand how that works. But at the same time, they kind of ignore the, the, the spiritual warfare thing. And I go, avoiding that is fine. <laughs> I don't blame you. I was there. I just like, <laughs> I don't want to go there. But to ignore it is to be foolish because things are screwed up on this level here for a reason and it's looking to be held and maintained and there's a lot of beings that are very strong that are they're holding their ground and then you have this thing that takes place as being free will certain beings will not intervene until that free will is and that's measured based on what they how they perceive free will from a higher perspective not a local perspective the local perspective for me is much more important than the higher perspective because this is how we deal with things here. And so <laughs> that's why it's so important that we take charge of certain things here because we can't expect anybody else outside of that to, to do that. So, yeah, it's important to look at the intensity of really what's been going on. And the thing of it is about Ashiana and in respect to the honoring her i mean one of the videos i i did uh not too long ago i think is probably a couple, few videos back about honoring the person and it, her specifically I mean, she was a vessel of honor now you know because there's choices that you make and if you don't correct you know things that you, you're going to repeat them so that was the case separating the messenger from the message yada 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 but she knew i would think as well as anybody but she opened up a heck of a lot of doors. If you look at what her son Casey talked about, if you have a chance to read that uh, testimonial, she's she was dabbling in spiritualism. I very familiar with this stuff because ever since an early child, I had stuff like coming in the home Ouija board and all this stuff. Next thing you know, we had there's beings stomping around at night and everything else. She was doing this stuff deliberately and just like taking the phone off the hook, dialing and throwing it out, you know, metaphorically throwing out in the middle of the room, just whoever shows up mm -hmm. type of thing. And I go, and this, what this does is penetrates your energy fields. And if you don't patch it back up, <laughs> that problem stays there. 
and it starts to creep its way in. What I understood and learned about spiritual warfare is when you go into a situation that is a, uh, that can be a strong, or you're doing, you're bringing something that's, or doing something to bring light anywhere, especially where, where there's a c- control in regard to consciousness, keeping it from their personal uh, ability to act on what they know to be absolute within them. You go into a situation like that, and if you're open like that, what they do is like if if they if you <laughs> combat them and, and 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 repel that, whatever way you think you could in order to do that. For me, it was not giving it any energy. I just become neutral, or I'd give it love, and then it, they would neutralize the situation for me. But if you go into it and you force your way into a situation where they have a stronghold there. They're not going to let up easy. What they do is like if you, if you if you repel it, they're going to just they're like a boxer. They're just going to look mm-hmm. for the opportunity to come in, and they don't tire. This tires, oh. and so it just makes yourself more and more vulnerable. And that's what happened in this situation. She just didn't correct certain things and kept repeating certain things. And as you just mentioned, repeating this cycle same thing and it's easy for the opposition or you know the adversaries or to dictate that because if you leave yourself open and don't correct things you make yourself susceptible and that's exactly what i've seen here you know it's not picking on anybody or saying you know but you have to call it out for what it is see it for what it is and not you know it's interesting within the chaos certain world certain people that's been involved with it for quite a while they don't they want it's like jerry i don't understand why jerry has a problem with ashiana well he lived across the street from her he was involved with with the movement early on i think he knew a few few things or two about what actually was going on behind the scenes and then what 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 happened with the 2011 thing and then the accusations that it was very hurtful for him to see especially you know michael was his friend ashiana was his friend they were friends and it just got really, really weird. So you can forgive people, but doesn't even mean that you need to accept what they did. You know, there has to be some kind of balance with that. You have to, you know, but a lot of people just within the chaos, they turn their heads and don't want to look and they'll take a side and I don't understand. Well, they won't even look at, you know, Mm -hmm. uh, what was there. It's like for this particular podcast is like you know show up <laughs> voice yourself you know but well that's the, uh, the reminder of discernment yeah and that there's no whole doesn't seem to be a whole lot of that in some cases and it's also what a, just as an observation it's just also a gift of a reminder that when we're doing this level of work we're really accelerator accelerating our energy bodies and our energy fields and our our level of consciousness openness awareness and kind of like you're saying the doorways that open and our discernment to those doorways and so it's a really powerful reminder of what you were saying of that spiritual or that energetic hygiene that almost the more and more that we start to attune to these multi-dimensional layers and, and awarenesses that the more diligent we actually really need to be with it because stuff is entering so much quicker so no one's immune <laughs> no no they're not but they're, they're uh, to emphasize the idea of what i consider to be the catalysts behind being able to endure and persevere and with with a lightness you know, with a lightness about you, not light as shiny light, but you're not burdened with it. Love, there is no law against it. It's <laughs> perfect. If you're working through love, there's no offense. None. It's perfect. So, when we again to emphasize my viewpoint to in order to make things simple for me, because I like simple. I've come into manifestation for one purpose, to bring the love that I've always been into it and manifest it wherever the opportunity I have. It's a challenge because it's like a little sliver (laughs) and you look, you want to, you know, ignite it. So it's a process. So you do all these different things that works for you in order for that to happen. 
um, giving love, you know, my, I have my cat, take my cat, I smooch my cat, you know. I love that it's, story. It's the, <laughs> yeah, expansion, expansion of self through music, I'm playing music, singing. It's extending myself and it's not just doing the act, it's actually projecting my very being and with my intention, my intention behind what I do, I can openly say here, is for the benefit of others. So, you know. Uh, Somebody's messaging. I, I didn't get that. My camera's, well, in, the, my camera's in the way and I can't see. She had a question and I missed it. No, yeah, I, I, I said my camera's in the way I can't see. So anybody can catch that, please do. <laughs> so, I, I missed it, it was too quick. But she did have a question about Michael, but I don't know what it was. Yeah, she had to jump off. Yeah, that's too bad. I mean, her, her phone just, um, battery just got drained immediately. That was really strange. It was dropping. It was like, what was it? Like 7%. I was, I was like in the middle of starting a sentence and she was gone. <laughs> it's like, uh, so. Well, one of the things that Michael kept referring to was Ash's connection to Toth. Yeah. And well, that was, went, yeah. Wow. A lot, of, a lot of problems with that, you know, I mean, wow. the whole the whole thing, it's like you look at the Zeta connection and everything. A lot of things weren't. Again, go back to the idea. And I know this personally because I dealt with this and it was a struggle. It continues to be a struggle for me. Lesser, less, lesser than it is now than it was before in some cases. Um, you don't for me. I'll personalize it. I didn't want to look at certain things that I went through. So I ignore it, and what I would do is I would replace it with doing stuff. Sure. Okay, if I'm if I'm doing service and I'm doing this, I I'll, it'll just it'll I'll clear it up that way, and it's just a pat. It's a sort of like a passing response because it's like I really don't want to look at that. And but not only that, it's like it was really kind of hard to be able to remember that to begin with, because you're put back to sleep. You you're within a hypnotic state. It's sort of like. Uh, as an analogy would be you go into your go into a home and within one of your houses you have well, rooms in your house you have a library but one day all of a sudden you never go in there because you don't think it that room exists anymore you know that it's there but you you're it's never it never crosses your your mind you never uh, consider it and that's what happens with this hypnotic suggestion it's, it says no don't go there or there's a response within the implants that shocks your nervous system in a certain type of way, fearful uh, response, crazy sounds, uh, voices, very clear. <laughs> and what I, I can mention that here because you you all know what I'm talking about, um, and it's not being schizophrenic, it's it's implantation in these. So you want to, at certain, when you first start experiencing that, you just kind of like, well, leave it alone. It's like, for the same reason I would wake up and I'll be in between states and I would see a being, they're talking to me. I don't want to hear what they have to say. <laughs> you know, I ignore it because I need to move forward. And it's so it's not easy, especially if you know, have all this different things in, in your past that it's still held within your shields and in fact, you know. So you know, as Michael said, you know, we have all slept with the enemy, so <laughs> Nobody has is exempt of that here with the manifestation. Again, manifestation is, you know, it, it's not real. It's, I mean, that's wrong. It is real, but it's an illusion. And do you think about the implants and slept with the enemies? It's as well about the, the blood mix from the Anunnaki? Well, you know, go back, it goes back to the idea of opposition and agenda. If you have, if you have something that you're looking to protect, um, that's your, that's your whole mission. You know, so anytime you go into an area and um, it's like the India, I, I noticed one particular clip. Um, there was somebody, I don't know who it was, can't remember. But it was somebody there, um, spiritual leader, that wasn't part of the group, that was pulling people out of their body. 
And uh, so <laughs> you have a whole lot of practice of different things like that. Some people would like them being pulled out of their bodies. Like, like I can't seem to get out, <laughs> you know, but Ashiana kind of freaked out over that, got mad, you know, and uh, you step into an area. That's, this is my point. You step into an area where there's a stronghold. I mean, a stronghold, thousands and thousands, and even longer stronghold. Uh, you're going to be met with opposition and you're dealing with beings that are very, very clever and all. There's a reason why that that stronghold has been held for such a long time. Mm. So, you know, you have to be wise. About what you're doing and you, if you go in bottom line, if you're going to go into area and do things like that, you, you expect spiritual warfare, expect it. So you have to be clear and you have to do what you need to do you know, in order to make sure that you're protecting yourself. Can't expect other beings to protect you. I've had protection. I've had him show up and save my life, but he can't expect that. Hmm. Yeah, they're they're clever. They've had their memories a whole lot longer than we have. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yeah, there they haven't there hasn't been a compromise there, you know. So they're a lot smart they're a lot smarter than anybody here. I mean there's a reason why the expression used for uh, earthly manifestation is being Chi children, you know, that's that's appropriate. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's it's, it's kind of easy pickings in that respect. So the true nature of who you are in regard to the love being you are, that should be at least my conviction is that should be the catalyst from which you do all things, and you're going to be guided in perfect wisdom when you do that. Mm. So. Yeah, that's the challenge, though, for me. I mean, <laughs> it's a simple bottom line, but that's the challenge. That's the challenge, yeah. Is there a particular um, hygiene practice or shield clearing practice that that you use more on a daily basis or that you find to be incredibly effective? Well, uh, can I give you a couple stories? Sure. Because this is the best way for me to explain this. I wasn't doing anything at the time when I had these experiences, which will uh, hopefully answer your question. It was the attitude of the heart in sanctification. Sanctification, another word for sanctification means to be holy. To be holy simply means to uh, set apart like this thing here. I set it apart for a purpose. It's only for that. Nothing can touch it, and it's clean spiritually. That is the biggest thing that you can do. Uh, fornicating, sorry, folks. You're going to open yourself up to stuff because when you make that energetic connection, that's powerful. And what that happens if you're doing it through the wrong intention or just for the purpose of gratification, you're opening yourself up. Um, we look in. Michael refers to that in regard to what he was accused of being like Avrister Crowley, you know, sodomy and all these other things. Mm -hmm. It opens up, the energy creates the ability to open up portals and because of the type of energy that's going on with the intention, it brings in these underworld beings. Acts as a portal for them. So, number one, holiness. <laughs> Believe it or not, huge, huge thing. And there's, once you start doing it, once you start doing it and remind yourself and it understanding what it means, actually, because it's not a religious act. It's not. There's nothing to do with religion. It has everything to do with keeping yourself pure so that you can't get tainted. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing things that are making, that's tainting you, whatever it is, you know, it's going to, it's going to create vulnerability. So, I would say you don't really have to do anything around you. You can, but I never had to do anything. And I would, one in the situation was like the Maharic seal just went around me and healed this person of cancer because I was available and because I was in the particular space. I was sitting at the edge of my bed another time and I'm playing my guitar. This is like about six, seven months, eight months, maybe prior to me being bedridden the first time. And uh, there was an angelic choir. I, it's, it's really kind of hard. To, tar, it's hard to explain the harmony that I heard because it was in everything. But I would stop and 
start again, stop. What was I doing? I was just being myself. So sanctification, you know, if you have a mission, you know what that is, and and there's a huge contentness with that. Don't allow for anything else to come in. You know, if if it doesn't connect with what you're doing, or you know, you need liberty and freedom with what you're doing, be able to choose whatever you want to. But for me, that's how it happened. And I it, there was I never knew anything about well, at least I wasn't brought to remembrance about anything at the time when these things were happening. I was just in a certain state, you know, and just keeping myself pure. It's a huge thing. So. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, just keep embodying the Christed light, really just being, being that embodiment really is such a powerful yeah. energy, the power of love. It's what we are anyhow, you know, the manifestation seems separate, right? But that's truly what we are anyhow. And I, I love the Maharic shield is as a visualization because it helps just to kind of really anchor intention, focus, and right. just that whole embodiment of it. Right. But understanding what that frequency is, is then becoming it. So yeah. I love what you just said. Thank you. Yeah. And, and that, in that, to clarify that a little bit more, <clears throat> it was actually physically around me. It wasn't some, it just, <laughs> And I couldn't hear anything outside of it. It was, you know, and I just, I could hardly move. I couldn't talk. I just like, I thought I needed to do something. So I kind of brought my finger up a little bit to point at the person, you know, and they're just like, whoa, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's interesting because it's, it's, there's, what was really that I, when I go back to that space, what was really great is that there was no thought. I heard nothing nothing it was just being and i experienced that once before when i was 17 when i was up in the Lido creek but uh yeah i was just like you just i could stay like this forever i don't have to go anywhere <laughs> being right there is perfect it's just perfect it's really kind of hard to describe but i think everybody knows what i'm talking about so yeah it was more like an egg shape egg shape though rather than like a tube or anything happened just kind of whoop. it was about 36 inches above my head though it's where it started kind of whoop. i was just staring out the window <laughs> what had happened so. so i know in the end of the interview michael was reading something that he had written did oh, he know. ever finish something or provide something because i it sounded like he was yeah, going to write a yeah i don't know i i, I um I, Christopher might know something about that. He's been in touch with a lot of stuff, you know, so he might know something about that. Christopher Beast Comstock. Yeah. 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 I mean, he, he runs most of the groups there on Facebook. So. He was uh, talking about the Kerr in the underground or the underworlds, the, the lower dimensions of the Anunnaki and the Anu and, and just the power that they have. I think a lot of people don't realize this, that we are actually kind of like in a telescope <laughs> for these Kerr underground, you know. Yeah, this is true. Um, and it's interesting because if you if one was to like observe or listen to like certain NDE experiences, you see a lot of evidence of that going on with the with the portals and stuff like that. When they get out of the body, they're like looking at this stuff. It's like, what is it? And there's <clears throat> almost getting pulled into it. It's like, God help me, you know, <laughs> pulls them away from all that. And but it's like an example. Um, there was a was it can't was it Weisman? Uh, Deborah, you would know. You would know this because you, you, you're very familiar with this. Um, 20 minutes in hell. And you, oh. you, you see within that. You see, it's interesting how it begins, you know, how before that happens, before he's, he gets. See, what <clears throat> short uh, story of that is that <laughs> he's in his living room, right? I think I have this right. And you correct me, Deborah, if, you know, if I stray from this. But he comes downstairs because it's like a two-story house or something. He comes downstairs. And when he comes downstairs, he gets pulled out of his body and or something happens in the living room before that. And then he gets pulled out of his body and he finds himself within the un underworld. Right. And you have these which would be considered uh, 
type of grotesque draconians, okay? And they're like ripping his flesh off and stuff like that. It's pretty insane. And I'm looking at all this, and this was like during a time I was like reading some of this stuff in Jesse Duplantis and everything because I have 27 years in Christianity. Okay, so we're kind of familiar. We're kind of familiar with this stuff. So um, I was just observing things from the perspective of looking at the veil and uh, excuse my you know, you know my language here bullshit, you know, and seeing through it, right? And I was just calm. Well, and then later on, I go, okay, there we go. I identify, you know, be able to identify it and everything. I go, okay, it makes perfect sense now. But what's interesting, if there's anything interesting about this for me, is that through the implantation aspect, <laughs> um, it wants to keep you short-circuited all the time so that you don't look at stuff. When I was really endeavoring to, I mean, this, what I experienced during my time when I was sick, my bedridden the first time and took years and years and years and years to process that and then when it came on the other end i was like uh endeavoring so it took years for me to to be able to get to the place where i'm at now and when i started it started to look into a certain material and then i knew it was true all of a sudden i've start short circuiting i mean i'm just like can't breathe i'm freaking out and i have to actually leave this stuff for days even months at a time to come back to it it was very, very difficult, you know. Uh, I knew what was going on with me enough to know this this is not normal, but I didn't know how to deal with it, <laughs> you know. Crazy stuff, really, really crazy. And um, and it's like, you, you look at what I was said before, it's like, well, I had these different things happen to me. Well, wasn't I keeping myself clean all the time? No, no. I made choices that opened myself up to be able to re-engage these implants because they can be they can be removed but at the same time they can be replaced be placed back again mm -hmm. and then there's also the residual effect that it's created for us with the program with with you that even after it's cleared you have to go through a process of healing it's not a one-time thing <laughs> so yeah it's it's kind of convoluted in that respect but um um yeah, the underworld. So he was referring to also his experience in regard to what took place with him and Ash. This is what this is he refers to as being the infiltration. It reminded me of a particular situation um, when I was involved with demon possession case. And I again, I'm not looking to insult anybody. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just making clear what I've seen. I, and I seen the same energy <clears throat> that was involved with that. So that what that's not much of a stretch, I guess, considering all things. But uh, anyhow, enough me rattling. Well, and they can't help it. You can see it right in the eyes. They flash right through. Yeah, and I if that energy, I, I, when she when he read what she said, it was the same thing. I felt the same energy. I even seen that face, and I'm going. <sighs> makes me breathe heavy. <laughs> I got pretty beat up when I was involved with that. Like I said, I still hold scars from that. So I don't want to have anything to do with any of that stuff yeah. <laughs> anymore. It was, it was crazy. I remember it was just <clears throat> getting involved in deliverance ministry was crazy. Yeah. I had hesitation all the time. It was just crazy. Oh yeah. I mean, it's it. I remember when I was I remember when I was working at Music Mics and I started talking about something that was that was inspired by something my employer said, and I got fired from that job because of what I I didn't I don't think I really said anything I think I just kind of opened things up, and he was he came back the next day and says man I had to stay up. TBN all night, things were flittering around in my house. He goes, what did you do? First thing I do is I come into the work. He goes, what did you do? <laughs> it's like, what do you mean, what did I do? I'm trying to figure out what I did. I don't think I did anything. <laughs> well, one of the things I was, I'm going to go back to Michael Dean. One of the things that impressed me about Michael Dean and talking about Ash was 
his integrity and his compassion for her, even after everything that had happened and the way she turned on him. And, you know, he was just so compassionate and still explaining how and why she was, you know, behaving the way she was. I was just, it just really impressed me uh, about his character and his integrity yeah for the longest time he wasn't able to say anything so i mean it was and the way you break you broke down and yeah wanted to sob and i mean i wasn't there i don't know what happened but i hear his voice and i believe him i believe him and 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 jerry too i just believe them yeah jerry's been from all the interviews that I, I we talked about this before you and I, Deborah, he never really said anything about who he was involved with. He never named names. He never talked about the movement specifically. He would just refer to I was involved with this. And you knew. And, and about the t- <laughs> his about his personal uh, you know experience when he physically died, and he, you know regained his memories about certain things and understanding and hence the reason why he does what he does today and that's really pretty much the catalyst behind him doing what he does um it's not so much through indoctrination as some people may think but um he just he never said anything about it you know um but he certainly did say something about it during this interview you can see where he was like he was there. He was, he was, he was, you could see he was, I don't know, I wouldn't say the word angry about it. He was just, but frustrated that you have to actually have to deal with things like this. And so, you know, he voiced himself and you could tell he, he, he was, he didn't like what happened to his friend. He didn't like what, how people ganged up on him and how okay. Michael didn't say anything for the longest time. Cause he couldn't, he even says that within this interview, he was just so knocked out he wasn't able to do anything and um yeah posts um his current michael's current wife made a comment and she's um obviously very upset she she's very angry at ash and uh, because she feels that ash robbed michael of basically his life i guess just dealing with all the fallout and the stress and what it did to him and she's pretty angry yeah you know but you know as far as the pattern things that's the that's the problem that we face with ourselves if we don't correct our path and don't repeat things that we have done especially after we know that it's that's not the thing to do yeah it just be, actually becomes worse the patterns just don't repeat they become more intensified and you become more and more vulnerable and that's what we see in this situation i mean that's what i see very clearly and michael referring to the anaki and anaki underworld and all these things some of this stuff you have to read between the lines of what he's saying or know a little bit more about you know the movement itself and just in general um in order to get more from it so it's kind of like it's more than one listen to kind of get it plus he has that British accent, so it's it's sometimes that's difficult to kind of follow. But it's a long interview, but there's a lot of things that are said slight that he doesn't finish a thought on, but you know what he means if you go back and see it and hear it in its context. So he's revealing quite a lot, actually, um, you know, that could be easily missed. So, but it vowed for me is like, okay, this is the stuff that I had new. And Monica refers had mentioned this um concerning that looking at some of the workshops and stuff the energy that she would feel about what was going on like something's amiss yeah. something's yes and you and you 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 also deborah you've had yeah. uh, referred to that and that's what i picked up on and which um had me do my research to look in and to investigate and see you know what i could figure out about her her, her past and this is the reason why you have now this is the reason why there's a lot of people that are within the so-called truther movement that don't subscribe to ks 
uh, such as David Wilcock and all these other people, um, you know, Alex Collier. There's a lot of different people that at that particular time actually had some kind of contact with her, I, which I didn't know until I started investigating it and seeing that. Huh. Um, but for whatever reasons, you know, things didn't, uh, there wasn't a unity, <laughs> put it that way, you know, for whatever reasons specifically. But I, 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 I go back to simply saying, well, there's a repetition of the same behavior and allowances and taking liberty where there shouldn't have been liberty taken. And it just made things worse and worse as it just repeated itself and progressed to the point where you become so compromised that you can literally get taken over. And I, I go back again to the idea of when you go into an area and you're looking to bring change and you go into a place that has really, India has some real intense strongholds. You go there, yes. if you're not prepared, you're gonna get your butt kicked. That's just basically it, straight up. And that's what happened. It was, there was too much vulnerability you know, building up to never. And so that's why, you know, then she meets this person who's a millionaire and Norwegians and all this other stuff. And next thing you know, she's, she's living and she's with them and she's growing her hair out really long and walking around with white clothes and floaty, <laughs> which I can, no offense, but I'm just going to say, I consider all that stuff kind of pretentious. It's like, you know, you look good with red hair. <laughs> so, you know, what do I know? But you know, I just it's it's it to me it's just pretty obvious and uh, to what you know what Michael said clarified all of it. I go okay, it's what I what I knew. You got to trust what you know, right? Yeah. Don't question your inner understanding. Once you know what that is, never question that. You know. Well, I could never understand why it couldn't couldn't connect. You know, I thought there was something wrong with yeah. me because I couldn't connect to the techniques. I didn't like them. Yeah. And now all this, it's like, you know what? Yeah, thank, I'm grateful that I didn't. Actually. You know what? I, you know what I really like? I'm going to have to head out, but thank you, everybody. Becca, thank you so much for showing up and thank you for all your input. It was great having you. If you anybody wants to continue to do this stuff, yes, let please. me know and I'll make it available to whenever you want it, when, when to do it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Blessings. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Deborah, same with me. So I found on YouTube uh, those meditations and, and some practices. I, I I don't feel comfortable, but but the lessons about the origins and what she have, I'm very interested in. Yes, but not yes. with the same with me. I, I don't feel. Comfortable is not the right word, but um, I don't feel connected with that. But I, I feel connected with the lessons always. Yes, uh, she, she, and I wondered as well um, why she drank because in every video um, I see Coca Cola, and I was surprised. Uh, um, <laughs> it, it, yes, because it's it's. Um, yeah, I know. I hear you. It's a poison. Yes. I know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah the, that's, you know, it, it yeah, yeah, it's, it's th again, this is not about picking on anybody. This is just seeing things for what they are, you know, and um, bright. Um, it just opens up things, not necessarily, you know, sugar or whatever, but there was smoking and there was drinking and all that stuff going on. And you, you listen to the interview and uh, that was taking place, you know, and um, I learned early on you, you can't really do those things because they're they're a medium uh, alcohol does a certain thing to your consciousness and makes you vulnerable it just opens you up sorry it does you, i mean just I having just having a beer or something oh I like beer is like but next thing you know i'm hearing things <laughs> mm -hmm. really clear you know and i'm going ah <laughs> mm -hmm. i don't like so it definitely you know opens things up smoking it does it does it opens things because it's a medium it's sort of like the idea is, is a ouija board uh, gateway to the netherworld no but the intention and what it's connected to is so if you look at anything related to any source of medium what is that connected with 
what what has happened sort of like taking a, a, an unanimated object and passing it down from generation to generation and but because why? in having a, there there's a you, if there's a spiritual connection to it meaning that there's something connected to it uh an, an entity can um, occupy it for you know who knows how long so it's just there ha, there's point is that what i'm trying to make is that there's wisdom in the process as you come to know things and if you don't adjust according to the wisdom that you have or knowledge not wisdom the knowledge that you're receiving it never becomes wisdom right because wisdom is knowledge applied so yeah and i have one question uh keith why uh, the um ancient people of america the the in 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 we called it indiana in germany the Navajo or the Hopi, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yes. People, they oh, yes. are smoking yes. too, and I don't understand that. Yeah, I th it's, uh, that was mainly done with then, uh, I, I guess traditionally from the beginning that was in respect to, um, it's sort of like it's sort of like this. I, I see there's a similarity to this when you take like sage and you smoke sage and have it when you're home to kind of clear things out mm -hmm. i think it was the same thing but as all things it becomes different things through different uh subcultures and stuff like that um but you know they they practice the use of uh, hallucinogenics and everything which i think is detrimental um i really do because i think if if you if you go without eating and drinking water i think that creates the same effect it allows the body to diminish enough for you, for your other aspect of self to come forward, right? So you don't really need to do hallucinogenics, which is basically distorting the distortions, you know? It's making it more even crazier. Now you can see it and experience it more clearly, but it doesn't mean it's truth. It, it's probably the opposite. Uh, mm -hmm. And it allows for other beings to come in and manipulate the situation at hand. But if you're just clear, clean you don't drink any water for four days don't eat for four days and you're just in medit in a meditative state something can happen there that you're in control of right and you, you and you're able to interpret it for what it is maybe not right away but at least it's 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 a clear it's more of a clear uh channel for you to be able to receive and and understand things so that i see as being beneficial but the ayahuasca, all this other stuff, I don't see as being beneficial whatsoever. It's actually fracturing their holographic template. Hmm. Yeah, because it's a crystal body. And so when, you, when you're forced out of that, it causes fractures within the crystallization, which is, you know, kilons, right? So that's actually creating more damage for the situation that we already are already in, you know? And again, it becomes that much more distorted and then you have to you become relied on it too I, I can't get out of the body unless i take a drug to get out of the body and they don't really i from what i hear most people don't bring back very much information that actually means anything <laughs> you know just stories I, I have a question mm -hmm. almost what do you think about almost or omes i tried that and i don't i don't know what it, actually i don't remember I have no idea what kind of effect it had on me. What is it? I didn't catch that. You, you want to go ahead and explain what that is, Monica? It, it's, um, I hope I can it in English. It's it's a water with very micronized uh, gold. Oh, oh yeah. I, oh, I'm okay. talking about now. But maybe I spell it wrong. No, oh. it's that's, I think everybody listening knows pretty much what right. it is I but I, I didn't I used it for a month and I didn't I don't can't say that I noticed a difference to be honest with you so and I was actually I had a pretty good diet and I was pretty clean at that time so if it was going to be effective you would think it would be more effective in in that uh, situation but it was expensive and yeah. I go okay I'm not going to do that again <laughs> <laughs> it's like I got. I need. It's like you know. I I got more benefit from juicing. <laughs> um, I think. Let's see. 
but uh, yeah, so I, I, I guess it depends on how it's made and you know the quality of it and everything. From what I, yeah. the stuff I got was supposed to have been high quality, but you know I don't, I, I had no really no point of reference and I didn't really do a huge amount of research on it. So I'm, I'm not really one to say outside of my own personal experience. I just didn't really get much out of it or anything at all, far as I knew. Are you talking about the white powder gold? Maybe it is white. No, it's, you're, talk, you're talking about you're talking about the really the diluted form within water, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 the almost. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, you're you're uh, you're talking uh, you're talking about uh, anatomic gold, yes. right? Yeah, the white mm -hmm. gold, right? Actually, that's you, that stuff doesn't stay. You can't. It doesn't. It evaporates too quickly. So I don't know how one would actually even. Well, you know, get it where they can use it because as soon as it's because it's it just it, it, within seconds, it disappears. <laughs> so. You know, it's because, you know, I, from what yeah, I under, basically kind of understand what the, why it does that, you know, I can't explain it because, you know, that's not something I pursue, but. Yeah, I don't really know too much about it. I know that it was like a seemingly a big thing at one point within um you know our early history here one of the civilizations here on earth so you know because it helps prolong life expands consciousness yada 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 that type of thing but uh i have experiences with omas and uh what was very, your experience very good. was it what, what what kind was it because like, that's like a big thing right to know what we say in using. germany monoatomic uh, uh it, it's called almost it's a, it's it's very very um tiny could, could you take like a picture of it or uh yes, whatever I, I i can send I, I can send you a picture yeah that'd be yeah. great because i would yeah yeah because i have it i have it uh, not with me here so what if you was, want to wait, I can. I can show yeah, yeah, you the, just yeah. You can yeah. just take a picture whenever you you're at your leisure. Take a picture and send it through okay. Messenger or something. That'd be great. Yes. Um, okay. What? Yeah. What was your? What's your? Your? What? What is the noticeable experience that you've had by using it? And how? And how long have you been using it? I use it five weeks, about, and um, with health, very, very good. Uh, um, experience so i have someone problems with my called it blubber and and kidneys is it blubber um, your liver don't... yeah me too yeah and uh, um always with feelings of psy uh, or psychic hurts so i get troubles with my blubber and 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 sometimes kidneys as well yes and so uh, i it's great. <laughs> so immediately uh, it goes out. And uh, um, when did you notice that? I mean, the change. For how long were you taking before you noticed anything? No, I, I was in in problems uh, uh, with that. And f after three days, I have no problem. But m so much more with. Um, what was it? What was the dosage? Uh, um, is this a cap? Was this, pets, was this a capsule form, or it's in? It's in no, 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 no. It's it's uh, um, with a pipette. Is it a pipette? I don't know the word in English. Like, like a tablet or a capsule? No. A dropper. A dropper. A dropper. Dropper. Oh, okay. Yes. Thanks, Deborah. So it's liquid. <laughs> <laughs> uh and and uh 20 drops um under uh, uh the tongue okay so uh, little, little then. okay and and uh, a lot happens um with my chakras and as well when i in nature uh for experiences and and feelings with with plants so for me, it's great. I that's can yeah, see that's, the, that's the energy of the plants uh -huh. as well. That's that's interesting. I like. I mean, again, it has goes to do with the quality of what you're using, right? Sure, that's like that's 
That's a that's an important thing. Yeah, and it's really hard to find when you're looking for something. There's so much of stuff out there, and it's kind of hard to. Um, it's important to hear personal testimonial like this. That way, you can get more of an idea as far as what's what where to go. Because when you go online, it's like it's all over the place. It's all over the map. You just like. And there's so much, so many, because I looked into it before, I was like, there is so much, you know, and I go on, I have no idea, <laughs> you know. In Germany, it, not. It, yeah, so it's, it's like you, people that would. In yeah. Germany, for that quality. Yeah. Uh, and, and one is uh, done in Switzerland, but it's very expensive. It's about 130, 140 uh, um dollar if you so will yes so it's it's wow so if that's that's for what like um um as far as the measurement the unit how much is the bottle how large is it 50 ml oh, okay F 50 milliliters i don't know in inches but <laughs> well 50 milliliters then yes well that so that's okay that's i think that's the same size that i had so that's that's that that lasts about a month, right? Yeah. 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 So. Oh, well, you, you mentioned chakras. That's something that I find to be interesting when I was looking at the older chaos material. Of course, I didn't get access to everything and everything kind of seemed to change from here and there. It's like, why? Why were you doing this? Now you're doing this. <laughs> Wasn't that any good what you're doing before? Uh, but. You know, I, I digress, but That's I was looking something at Michael said too. I was looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but um, <laughs> I was um, I was looking at. The um, chakra chart, right? I mean, there's several different ones, but the ones that the one that shows the um, human form and and has the uh, mm -hmm. has a separation, seg the segmentation. That's the better mm -hmm. way to put it. And I was never ever comfortable ever seeing that segmentation. I'm going that that's, that's not right because based on my understanding, just in simple physics, because I, I did like which I would still like to do a video of explaining the idea of dimensional consciousness related to the harmonic uh, spectrum. And within that, you see the uh, uh, frequency spectrum, of course, and within the frequency spectrum, you have color that which we know we can measure and we can see it as it moves into um, the second harmonic universe. We're able to mm -hmm. understand that. And it's a spectrum. It's not segmented. Mm -hmm. But in the body, it's segmented. And I go, that ain't right. That's not right. And then I ran across this article and it starts talking about where people don't do that. And I never related to, personally, I never related to chakras. You know where my energy center came from? Right here. Mm -hmm. Right there. That was always right there. Never crown chakra stuff, none of that stuff. It was always nothing other but here. This is where my understanding came from. This is where my uh, my connection to the infinite aspect of self came from. Everything was through here. You know, and I could feel it here. It's my solar plexus, upper and within right here. So within that, which would consider to be the Azure and within the heart chakra and within the solar plexus, that right there. That's where... I mean, in actuality, if you look at what and who we are, that's how we do shine or connect. That's it comes from there. It's not this the, the the spectrum of frequency related to consciousness, right? Is is they they flow into one another because this is what happens with frequency. Frequency is color. Okay, so this segmentation, yeah, that's that's totally wrong. I think that's part of what has been done within the manipulation here in regard to you know uh the, you know the negative so-called alien agenda i use the word so-called because you know, i don't like to uh, throw stones because <laughs> <laughs> i know at some at some point i was definitely involved in, and here's the thing one needs it's important for one to look at that if there is a unity of oneness and there is you and the true aspect of self is transcendent of manifestation. Um, there's a there's a there's a collective agreement. <laughs> we're, we're, we have individuated um, choices that we make in regard to experience and how what we contribute and what we only we can contribute 
because of our individuation, the uniqueness of us. But we knew everything of what was going on before we ever moved into any time we move into manifestation. If we go back or if we, we don't get bounced back by frequency friends and don't have the opportunity to go back type of thing, which many people do because they come here, they get blank slated, as you know, and they don't know who they are and they go out and they still don't know who they are. And so they're easy pickings and they're able to get bounced back real easy. So and that's what's been going on here for a very, very long time. But we knew, right? I mean, we'd seen like all the manifestation, millions of possibilities of what could take place. We've seen all of them. And we said, yes, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, and in the meantime, we get caught up in what happens within the drama of all this and we participate in it, mm -hmm. right? On one level or the other, we've, we've done it all. Yeah. So, uh, so no throwing stones. I doesn't mean I want to yeah. do what they're doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want to have anything to do with it. it that's, that's my choice. I, you know, I want to move back forward and just stay out of manifestation next time just i just don't think i want to come back for a while <laughs> but uh i think a lot of people can agree on that one but uh at any rate yeah so not until things are better right <laughs> let me know when you fix it yeah but uh <laughs> i leave do do your part while you're here and just kind of okay i'm gone but any rate so yeah no throwing stones, but you know, we don't have to participate with what we don't want to participate in anymore. So, but right. uh, yeah, the chakra thing, I think that's, yeah, it should just be an easy flow thing. I mean, if you look at the, uh, you know, I'm overemphasizing this, but if you, if one is would go look at like, you know, the, the, the frequency band chart, if you see that, it just bleeds from one color to the other. And that's, that's harmonically that makes perfect sense you know i wanted to do a video using the piano to explain that and subdivide it through the 12 tone scale which you find within uh you know uh, western temperament uh, but it, it kind of clearly lays things out in regards to instead of having 23 chromosomes as an example you see 36 within the scale 36 sub subdivisions of the upper and lower bass tones and stuff like that uh, so kind of emphasizes the point and clear, clarifies things. So helps to clarify it anyhow. But if I did it properly, it would. But uh, all you have to do is look at the chart and go, okay, well, why is it that these chakras are, why is it segmented like this? It's not supposed to be segmented like that. Does exist another books about Kelantic science? Um, Besides the wing maker thing, I have no good feeling with it. Um, oh yeah, wing makers. I haven't, I haven't looked at any of that stuff. I, um, only so I, 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 I couldn't tell you, because I just, I go where my, where my, I look at stuff and then I'm, I'm in and out guy. Okay, especially at the age that I'm at, I'll look at something for a short time and I'm done, <laughs> and I'm, I'll move on. If I, if, if it's like for as an example with um the the law of one books there's five volumes i yes. I, I i went through the first page and i go nope <laughs> and i was done with that i read through it and i'm going yeah no i i i, I have <laughs> as well but i uh go through 20 uh sessions yes but after one session it's not very big yes uh, uh to read right I was yeah immediately tired and i have to do a sleep in the weekend about one and a half hour or two hours and then i love to read it yes but then i think by myself it could not be steals you so much energy if it is the right thing but to read it i like it really i like it yes i connect with it in reading <laughs> well the the reason but why I, the reason why i can yeah the reason for over I every want, session well, I no, well, I, I, there's well there's there's a lot of things going on with consciousness at that point and you know it's not that you can't glean good things from it i'm sure you uh -huh. can but for me because i was in christianity for 27 years it was like reading another bible <laughs> mm -hmm. okay so i it wasn't really that so much because 
and I didn't, like I said, first page or a couple pages, I don't know what it was, but I was quickly aware that this was channeling. And for me, that's always mm -hmm. been a no-no because you don't open yourself up for some other being to come into your manifestation template that doesn't hold the same frequency as you do because everything is unique. And when that mm -hmm. they do do that, it, uh, that damages your manifestation template. Mm -hmm. And people, some people say, well, it, it's probably because someone would do that is because that's their higher self. And I'm going BS. Mm -hmm. you're, you're BS because number one, your so-called higher self wouldn't, whatever that means, you wouldn't be doing that because you already know how things are compromised here. You don't do that to something that's already, and what happens? She gets sick. I can see the look on her face while she's sitting there. I go, this is not good. And then I read enough of it as I'm going through it that she's suffering. Now, the so-called being that's holding the title of Ra, we know what Ra means. She, he, it's, it's that collective is saying, oh, is she okay? And it's like, yeah, as if you didn't know. <laughs> yeah. You know, and then I hear people like, you know, David Wilcox say, well, it was, it was tele uh, tele uh, telepathy. No. It wasn't where you why he spent two years with the people that were involved with that. How is it that you're walking away thinking this is telepathy? Right. <laughs> it's like if it walks like a duck, it talk never, you know. <laughs> it's it's not that big of a, a big of a feel. And that's the reason for me, because it's like I've always been protective of the idea you don't allow anything else in your body. You don't bring in energy. You have everything that you need in here. You just connect to the primal life force currents, and you can do that through, in my case, I was able to do it through just being real with me and then allowing yourself to be a pure of heart, and it happens, you know? You don't have to do a bunch of stuff to do that. I've done these some of these techniques and everything, and you can convince yourself through intention, intention, let me just say this before I start saying too much. Intention is extremely powerful. Mm. You can make things work just because you're the, the being that you are can make things work. So your conscious attention, intention is everything. I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. During um, that interview, Michael mentioned great. Was it great white brotherhood? Yeah, I was referring to Ashana's Ashana's daughter. Daughter. Yeah, and she was she was she was a she was a, um, she was a uh, issue. <laughs> yeah. Again, can you know Michael refers to the home being chaotic. Right. And we have this consistency of, of chaos going that seems to be maintaining itself because they're the inability to adjust and correct things. Right. So what and, is the Great White Brotherhood, though? Uh, yeah, I started to look into it. I don't know. Monica, would you know anything about that? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know too much about it. I started looking to it. It's, for me, it's like this. I probably will look at it now just because the question came up. But for me personally, is probably as well as uh, you gals, I would think, you get to a certain place and it's like, I just, it's like, I don't need, I don't need to get off the freeway. You know? Exactly. <laughs> I just, yeah. so I'm not going to look at any of this stuff. And that's like, probably why, that's probably why I didn't look into it. I thought you'd want, you know, somebody just might know and be able to explain to you. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to really open up that. Yeah. I, yeah. But uh, again, you know, uh, I think the, focus of in, uh, intention is really the issue at hand you know the energy that you bring with your intention is it for the benefit of all life or is it for the opposite of that right right so i mean that's where what it really boils down to and yeah. now we're we're love we're the true aspect of the nature of who and what we are if that's present it's never offended in other words, I can see and, and experience or uh, see the grossest, most horrifying thing in front of me. I don't, I won't like it, 
you know, it's repelling, but it's not going to offend me because my love is going to overpower it. And I'm going to have compassion because I know that should never, ever happen. And because of things, the way things have been, that's the reason why it happened. So I look at the source of the problem, not the problem or the result of it. You know, so there's within that state, when we're truly in that state, there's no offense. Right, Ruth. So you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to, you know, your intention is going to be pure. You're going to, it's for the benefit of life. There's no such a thing as favorites. You're not going to favor one thing or one person or one thing over another. It's all equal, you know. And, uh, you know, here on earth, we play a lot of favorites, so. Randy, I'm, I'm not um, bored. I'm tired because we have midnight in <laughs> well, I understand. Well, thank you for thank you, Monica. If, like I said, if you, I thank you both, you, thank you very much. If you thank wish, you. as well as others, to be able to do this on a consistent basis, and if oh, you yes. have if you have a subject, Correct. if if you have a subject that you want to talk about, and you want to host it, or you just you know, I'll shut my microphone off and just you know, I'm very content with doing that. Actually, I end up talking too much, like I'm doing now. Is because I sometimes I get I get a little nervous and feel like I have to fill up space, but somebody else is doing something. I, I just, I'm more more than content to just recede into the background. So what I'm saying is this: uh, if for this to continue, whatever you would like to do, it's just let me know. Yes, please. Uh, it's 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 a very good idea. So it helps me today. Um, very much and and I get new impressions and and views on it and yes I would appreciate it as well if you if we can continue that it's it would be great you know the, the more the merrier you know um, more people that's my been my conviction all along and as Deborah will attest to for as far as putting the freedom teachings group or whatever is just to get people to co-create with one another Yes, yeah, you know, and in, in Germany, we, we, we are alone and we have only one book and and um, in this. Do you have Telegram in? in, in uh, um, yes, you have it too in. in yes. State. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. So we have a group about um, um, seven people uh, to make the idea happen. How can we bring it in? in German language yes uh, yeah it that's just uh it's just I mean there, there's the I mean it takes time with no question but there's the tools to do it with and like I said before even this uh, stuff that I have like for um the videos that I've done or whatever um to be able to I mean how it translates over in the germ into the German language it would be good if somebody such as yourself can make, you know, correct all the translation errors, you know, uh, things or things like that that can be done. So we can figure out how to do that, you know. Yes, we, ha we have. Uh, it's it's not so. Uh, um, we have we have one in this group. Uh, um, he has. A uh, YouTube channel and a Telegram channel as well with, with a lot of uh, some videos have 30 300 and thousand views it's not not less yes and uh, he's interested but but he has no space at the moment but if we can use one of your videos yes yeah and all of a them technique, if you want <laughs> you yes, can use all of them if you want. to read the language and right. put it uh, in letters so he have only and and he can translate it via deeper and so we can do it in correctly grammatic german because yes. people doesn't so and someone from us can speak it underlined yes it's not so good if it if i do because i'm a woman <laughs> and you are a man what, speaker <laughs> wait 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 no no wait a second wait 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 that's okay yeah. I don't yes. care. It, as long as it's being it should nobody should care really yeah. you know uh yeah. if, if if you if you have a desire and a heart to do something and you feel like you, you you want to do it that shouldn't keep you from doing it i encourage you to do whatever you you want to do concerning any of that so um well i was thinking yes. how about this how about this i was thinking i guess maybe this is what you're talking about um it's if, if, if to be able to uh, 
do a voiceover of what I'm what I'm saying and just mute out my voice and put in yeah. you know just transcribe that way I can I can um, like download the MP3 of that or whatever and send you the MP3 of it or you know you just cool. download the whole video or whatever and then um, I can try to t uh, take the voice from the voice to text. And that way, then I can translate it into German and then send it to you. And, you, and anybody that's listening understands what I'm saying. Uh, then, then you can do all the corrections that you would need to do and then yeah. do the do the voiceover and then mute, mute uh, my voice off the video, you know? That would be great because uh, this person has a lot of projects. Yes, he mm -hmm. would do it for, for us. And if, if we can offer him a, a really short work, yeah, video and speaking, yes? Yeah, uh, yeah, like excerpts. Uh, yeah, yeah, good idea. Well, you know, that's the thing to do. I think what I'll do, how about if I, if you suggest to me first things too that would, that would you think would be most beneficial, and then I can perhaps do like a short version of it, and then I can, at the same time, I can, I can transcribe it, right? And then uh, be able to send, the, uh, send it to you. Is that would that make any it's sense? Great. Yes. It yeah. Makes and if, if if it needs any graphics, like for video or something, then I would put that with it. Oh, you know? graphics. Or, or we can take, or we can take, or we can take like little clips because of a lot of stuff I do on the videos that I've done. There, there's, there's, um, there's like it's, it's done oh, in chunk. It's, it's done in yeah, chunks. Like you know, for lack of term, it's done like in different different parts throughout the video. So I can just take a little part of the video and say, okay, this is um, this is a good piece of information and just use that because it already has the graphics as far as the, you know, for the video on it and just trans that way it wouldn't take so long, you know. Yes, it's as well hard to begin uh, uh, because which, which, with which the part we cut. want to start, yes, it's a CDT, CDT plate or... Uh, the so, particle, the part, the yeah. particle. That's yeah. I, my suggestion is always the particle because that's that's the reason why I got into it to begin with is for the, you know, um, the creation mechanics, the structure of things. So okay. the, I could spend the rest of this incarnation talking about the particle. Oh. Uh, people will will look at it and they'll just overlook it and they'll go on to something else and I go, oh, you need to stay there for a while. <laughs> Yeah, because okay. everything, everything that's that's the whole thing. That's the whole yeah. holographic template right there. And yeah. if you understand that, you'll understand everything else. You know, it, cool. all, all those other other things just has a lot of different names for the same thing. If you, you know, want, so. you can you can come in this group. I sent you a link. Right. Yeah, uh, I noticed. Yeah, I, I checked in. I have to download. I have seven. to download the Telegram. I think I already down. I think I downloaded two of them. One was th for thirty two, and one's for sixty four. I have to figure out which one. That I, I need to use for that, but I have it on my desktop right now that I'm looking cool. at. So, yeah. so we are only seven uh, 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 people in there, and another uh, has translated Ashayana, so Ash's uh, um, teachings in German, and um, and he he was only the translator, and another guy make a book from it. It's about the uh, holy. Uh, um, wisdom from Katara named. I, I can send you a, a photo from from this book. It's the only one in German, but it's so difficult because it's no graphic, nothing in that, only text. <laughs> so yeah. For me, seeing the graphics in 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 YouTube and uh, yeah. your channel, it was easy because I have some in my mind but for some people who starts with it without any graphic it's, or picture in a book only yeah. text it's <laughs> right it's, oh no yeah. no yeah absolutely i mean it's some sometimes uh you need very little words and if the picture is clear enough you know what i'm saying if it tells a story and you just it doesn't like looking at the part of Kai, it, it takes a little bit of explaining but if that little those those looking at those images really helps yeah. you know understand how it works then if you can animate the images showing you know the idea of um you know the regenerative process how it duplicates and stuff like that and actually what's going on behind it uh i would i mean that's really the thing to do i'd love to be able to have some like uh, film software where i could use and i can be able to create things like that because like i was like on the internet 
um, a while back and I was on Facebook. I said, Does anybody know how to create a, like an electromagnetic field <laughs> as far as mm -hmm. imagery? Because that's really important because it's what we see within Partica is, is electrotonal. And mm -hmm. I, I remember when when I was uh, abducted back in two, uh, 1972, I had this electrotonal grid around my house. I didn't know what it was called then, but I can take myself back there right now and I can see it and it's pulsing and everything. This is what encases the, the, the seven initial tones, which is the program for the construct, period. That's it's the program. That's the mathematical program. It's done through tones, so which becomes sound and light, which in order, mm -hmm. you know, sound forms the forms the form of the light. Through it's not one or the other. There's there are two equal opposite aspects of that program. Anyhow, I remember seeing that. And I'm thinking, how can I find something that's that? I, it was really difficult. Even now, it's like how. Yeah, I have to create it. You know, because I can't explain it to anybody, you know, and there's nothing out there that's like that. I haven't run across anything that, is, that has that imagery that, you know, that I'd seen. And uh, and it felt an experience because it's alive. Yes, so. image, images are a lot of information, not oh, only yeah. for the yes, yes, yes. You could take what, you, what, what, what normally would take like a couple hours to kind of figure out what's going on with and if it presented correctly within a couple minutes you can create the same idea mm. with much more impact yeah and so. another thing is is for us important to start uh, um, that people you have so much spirituality here yes but it's metatronic it's it's like uh, the fibonacci and the crystal spiral and and the flower of life and you know what I mean yeah and this was another idea um, only to show up um, you have this and that and this and that uh, to open up the eyes um, for well, the it, metronic thing yes yeah yeah it's you know that's the thing the when clear, it comes to real thing yes you know what I mean yeah. when it comes to experiences as an example this isn't re related to what you're saying when it comes to experiences, which I would never really been a big proponent of communicating experiences, is because what does that mean to somebody else? <laughs> I mean, really. And when you have your own experiences, how are you able to assess or judge what that is? What's your, what kind of rule do you have that allows you to measure your experience in regard to what you just had? So when people experience what they experience here and they look at the mathematics here, they don't see the mathematics within the hologram here as being altered. They see it with a nature and they think that it's normal mm. but because it's, it occurs in nature. Yes. But yeah, but they don't understand what actually caused that. They don't understand that this is a mathematical program of sound and light, yeah. you know? So, you know, you got a bunch of people running around here on earth that think that they're the body. <laughs> oh, as well and, and they get extremely addicted to that as they're being their identity and that's why it's so easy for them to get you know bounce back here to you know reincarnate again it's an easy manipulation it really is mm -hmm. which needs to be gotten rid of <laughs> it's pretty powerful too it's ex well it's 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 yeah it's powerful and it's 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 you know it's for we're talking about certain beings that are just way smarter than you are here, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. on your heart, you know, within your true nature is like, you know, everything, you know, you're, you're a form, the true nature of you is a formless non-entity, all knowing, all powerful. Okay. So it's not like you don't know anything, okay. but here you don't, you're a fractal, you're a little here. fractal that's been blank, blank slated. You're easy pickings. Wow. <laughs> in a box as well, a fractal in a box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In a box, in a box, in a box, in a box. Yeah. <laughs> As I used to say, in a, in a prison within a prison within a prison within a prison. Yeah. <laughs> but we're we're not we're not victims, though, are we? No, we're not. No, no, no. no. But, the, but the conditioning, Knowing the conditioning is, is easily 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 created here, though, because you know, then no, but nobody has a um, a point of reference to what is until you bring it to their attention. Say, wait a second, here's. 
here's something that's contrasting to what you've come to understand in regards to the flower of life. And so it's, you know, that type of thing. And you start looking at the mathematics and you go, what's different? This is a 12 base system and this is a 10 base system. And you, and once you're able to explain it well enough to them, they go, oh, okay, I get it. You know, whether or not they embrace it doesn't really matter because they're none of this anyhow, you know. We all wake up from this eventually. <laughs> so, you know, no worries. No, I have no worries. I, I have a, a I don't like the suffering, but you question. Know, <laughs> that'll end. No, 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 eventually. no. Whether you hear, uh, <laughs> did you ever hear uh, uh, from the book from Zoe Pofo, EP 101? I, I, you have to repeat that. I'm sorry. Did you ever hear from the book from Zoe you have or how I don't know how to spell ET one hundred and one? ET one 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 oh one. No, I no, I never heard of that before. No. It, it it's not important. It's it's only the preview of of Kilontic science, yes. But the preview, <laughs> the the elements, yes, right. um goes together 100 percent but it's only a little preview so 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 um, how, how, i don't know the word in 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 english um if, if if you have a summary from a book in in 15 slides but the book is 200 slides you know what i mean I yeah 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 I, th I think i know where you're going with this but it it I, it's really great to to prepare people um they are seekers and and has no idea yes about uh, extraterrestrial and the others <laughs> you know and right. everything yeah. and 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 the holographic universe and and the fibonacci and the crystal so it's it's a good preparation uh, um, for before uh, the big stuff. Right. Well, that's the reason why I I refer to the particai. Mm. It's everything. So if you understand that, then you understand all the other stuff. And knowing and it, because it, it basically centers around you being within it in manifestation in order to experience self differently to use as a tool in order to expand the creation which is done through the being when the being expands then the creation expands but the only way that the creation expands if the being expands and the only way the being expands is through, through their true nature which is the love being that they are through joy and love that expands, that moves forward, everything else stands still. You can have a whole lot of technologies and you can be doing so-called miraculous things because you understand how things work, but you're not moving forward because the true essence of the being of who you are is not, is not being demonstrated within manifestation. So for me, again, it's all about simplicity. You know, I, I don't like to know a bunch of things. I just want to know one thing and just kind of put it in a little box and say, okay, there it is. But the box is extremely huge. <laughs> mm. You know, it, the the contents is simple, but it, it it encompasses all things, you know, as as looking our, at ourselves within this fractal experience and knowing that we're huge, huge, huge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so point being is simply for me, I just want to know the simple bottom line okay so i know what the focus on is because you you know you know as we as we know we don't have a whole lot of time here so i like to manage my time and way of things i have to readjust things for myself so it's really important i as i like communing with nature you know or just a creation in general and for me that that's like everything because it's not about loving one thing it's about loving everything and equally and things like ceremonial with elemental commands that's valuable to me extremely because it's intimate mm. you can connect to it in that way and you know that's the reason why I, for me my thing is to be my thing in general is just to be a servant but what i love doing is is music and leading people 
in that intimacy and having that experience in a collective way. And, you know, unfortunately you can't do that online. It has to be done in person, you know, mm. doing videos is okay. And it's, you know, it's second best, but it's not the same thing as being in the same room because in the same room, you can create men you can manifest within the manifestation. If you know what I mean, you can mm. create you, you, power can be manifested within that environment healing can take place i'm talking about regenerative healing which i've experienced in which i've been part of to have other people experience so that to me is a reality and that's a place that i like to live you know and so again simplicity i like to keep it simple in that regard for us here's my what i'm here for i'm here to give expand and through that through love and joy you know and it's challenge. I have to, you know, I'm not gonna say it. for me. It's been a challenge. It's been an extreme challenge. I had a heck of a lot of suffering throughout this incarnation, you know. And based on my reliving experiences, I have had quite a bit with the manifestation period. You know, I mean, being on a planet and it blowing up that is it was extremely terrifying. I can't think of anything more terrifying. I still suffer from the phobia of that. If you take me out in the middle of the desert at night and if I look up at the Milky Way, I freak the F out. <laughs> I feel like I need to go under this, the biggest rock and just hide. That's what's, I have a crushing feeling for that. And I know what's behind all of it. You know, it's not just the experience I had. Other beings compounded on that and they implanted me based on that experience to intensify it. Mm -hmm. So I have, I struggle a lot. Don't get me wrong, I do, but I persevere. And when, when a friend of mine told me a while back, he says, you need to have more than courage. And I'm thinking, don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> courage is what pop, the courage is what enabled me to get to a place where I'm at right now. He said, you know, I feel like saying, well, I'm not perfect like you. <laughs> so, but that's a defensive mechanism. And that would be wrong. But yeah. I did, th I did feel that way for like, I feel like I needed to defend myself and I don't like doing that. It's important to say certain things. I've been learning not to say certain things. I have a hard time not talking, but I, I try to learn not to say certain things because I know what not to say most of the time or what to say, but sometimes I just don't have control over things because it's just really tough. You know, now I'm babbling and I do that a lot. So anyhow. Again, simplicity, full circle, you know. Thank you so much. Yes, I need to go to. All right, yes. folks, yeah. gals, anytime you want to do this again, just let me know. And uh, I'm more than willing. So I will uh, start thinking about what you were talking about, Monica, and what we were talking about as far as the translation thing. And see what I can, uh, see where I can, can figure out about how, what to do with that. We have in Germany cells for sure, and when they first connected with it, so they can moving forward. But but you have to know. And my first connection was with Sophia. It was the very first post I saw at Sophia's about the uh, the ascension from Ash uh, in between 2021 and 2023. I'm I'm not believing in in in, in time because it's uh, messed up. Yes, so, but yeah, yeah. But I yeah I know. Which, uh, but if I, if I can if I can interject that that information came later after all the uh, event and all that nonsense that took place. So I I would personally, you know, for me, I have nothing to do with that. Mm. I won't have anything to do with it because it's been tainted and it's been hijacked. Yes, but it brings me into the Kilonic science. So it was my first contact. Well, no, yeah. yeah. I mean, like yeah. this, it goes back to what you were saying before. What you connect with is what you connect with. And, you know, and that's what's important. Mm. So, yeah, absolutely. I'm just saying this because I've heard other people have mentioned this to me about the extension of the, uh, the ascension cycle. And I'm going, does it really matter? <laughs> I haven't seen anybody leave yet, <laughs> you know, <laughs> of all the people that you would think that would be leaving, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> they haven't gone anywhere, but you know, you're here for your duration. Even if you had the opportunity, okay, here's the thing. If I had the opportunity to go, 
right now. If I was able to go to the Trinity Gates and I was able to go through them, would I go right now? Certain, at, bef, even if you asked me that question two months ago, I would say I would be gone. But at this time right now, I would say, no, my time's not done here. Mm. And I think that's what's really all about. It's like, okay, because, I mean, there's a reason why you came here. You know, and for me, it's like, okay, the catalyst is love, the love nature of being who you are. But the, your, your mission, regardless of how big or small it is, it's still, you, it's you as part of the whole. That's what you decided to do. And when you're in touch with that, you, you that's what you become. It's bringing more of the soul of your identity of yourself within this incarnation. And therefore, it, it, you know, that's, your, that's your governing aspect of your life once you, you get to that place. So you just say, well, you know, I'm done here. Well, I would go, no, I'm not done here. You know, you'll know mm. very distinctly. So I'm not concerned about all this other stuff. I'm not done <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Well, blessings to you both. Thank you, Deborah. Thank, thank you. you, Monica. Thank you. Uh, thank thank you, to everybody who showed up. And again, whenever you want to do this again, it, it could be the next day as far as I'm concerned, I'll make myself available. So whenever, about anything, if you, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Okay. Thank you, Randy. Thank well, you, thank, Deborah. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Randy. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.